The most exciting technology coming out of CES this year is a combination of camera technology that can record 360 degree video and I believe that high quality VR, which I, those are kind of uh, tied together, uh, will also be exciting as well. The implications of uh, better cameras to record 360 degree video is obviously enabling brands and any content creators to be able to record really these immersive experiences, which for the first time these cameras have become more cost effective. They're not something that only, uh, you know, gimmicky sort of luxury sort of uh, uh, content producers can create. And then also because uh, Facebook had just uh, uh, put in 360 degree video into their uh, feed so you can actually start to see things by panning around, I think more and more consumers are starting to respond more positively to those types of pieces of content. And then I think VR, because you can actually immerse yourself to experience those videos. Um, the old Oculus models were all pixely and kind of V1. Uh, now we're seeing you know, headsets that allow us to see high quality VR, which is just going to be a whole nother game changer as well. I think the next big must for brands in the mobile space is to begin to think about their connections with consumers in the mindset of service. So I'll explain it an example with what we saw with uh, Marriott actually recently. They, they introduced a text-based concierge into their mobile app. So you know usually you'd have to call down from the hotel telephone and now you can actually just from the convenience of your smartphone just text the concierge and ask them to, you know, I need flowers delivered, I need d uh, dining reservations. And so the trend of that that's indicating is actually using what is already starting to blow up in terms of how consumers are engaging with brands on mobile, which is actually through a very fast-growing text-based apps, so apps like WeChat uh, uh, and, and and WhatsApp and, and 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 the like have been really growing fast. Now WeChat has actually started to have services that brands can now be a part of, and we are realizing that that power is extremely. Uh, sort of, uh, sort of uh, personal when it comes to a consumer being able to just connect with a brand in a human way, uh, but use uh, text-based commands to be able to interact. So I think that's a big thing that brands start to think about: either embedding it into their own properties or bringing it to uh, platform owners like WeChat and the like. I think connected technology and wearables will go quite far without consumers even realizing it in 2016. I think the continued adoption of these things in commercial use cases will be uh, even more fast growing uh, and that obviously will make an impact on our lives just without us ever even seeing it. Now in terms of actually things that we use, you know, I think uh, connected cars uh, will start to become a lot more uh, mainstay just because of everyone buying their cars and new cars are all going to be connected. Um, and then I think uh, the interaction between new sort of uh, sort of test related technologies that, for example, the watch I would say from Apple was sort of a way for Apple to see is a connected or a wearable type technology that's mass consumer going to be adopted at a large, uh, uh, a fast pace and it sounds like it's been doing reasonably well. So now, I think a lot of folks that have been waiting are gonna to start to jump in. You saw uh, uh, Fitbit uh, launch their first uh, smartwatch as well, and so there's just gonna be so many more models and options and, uh, and different price ranges as well that you know more and more folks will now have these things on them and of course in their homes and in their cars.